Just a little side note to this uh, circuit that I showed you the other day, which was um, a uh, microcontroller that you could uh, power on and it would automatically power it off. Now, there was a problem with this circuit that um, didn't appear in the video because I corrected it um, in the video, but not on the schematic. So this will turn the microcontroller on, it will flash this LED uh, and then turn itself off. However, in the diagram, in the circuit diagram itself, so it's about to switch itself off, there we go. In the diagram itself, I showed you the LED connected to pin 12 um, via a resistor to ground. Now, you don't wanna do that. That isn't the way this should be done at all if you're gonna wire up a resistor, uh, wire up a, an LED. What you want to do is have pin 12 be the ground for that resistor. Um, the reason for that is uh, you're providing a path to ground that when it's already connected to uh, the, the battery plus. So if you provide that path to ground, then it will draw some current through the microcontroller, albeit a very small current, um, you don't wanna do that. So let's just wire that up that way around so that you can see um, why you don't wanna do that. So if I put that to ground, uh, put the resistor to ground, And we've got pin 12 here. And I pop the LED in this way around. It will glow. So you'll see there's a very small glow there. I can demonstrate that by taking out pin 12. Uh, so you'll see that it is pulling current through the circuit to pin 12 because these pins start off as high uh, when the microcontroller's reset. So it's high now and it's pulling in uh, current from this battery. I can still turn the circuit on uh, and then we'll flash the LED. But if it's the other way around, and we're expecting a, uh, a low signal from the microcontroller, then uh, it won't draw any current when it's in the off position. So there we go, it doesn't draw any current until you press the button. Someone also asked why I don't drive the MOSFET with a pin from the Arduino. Well, I originally chose to do that because I wanted to keep the IO pin separate from the power supply so that it's not so when you connect this switch, it's connected directly now, just uh, I was testing it, but it will be directly connected to the battery. And I prefer to keep it separate. So I'm just using a, a transistor so that it's driving that transistor, which then will turn off that MOSFET. Now, interesting side note with this, um, you, ca you can absolutely uh, drive that MOSFET with the IO pin. In fact, I've done it here. So it's on pin 11. If I keep that button held long enough, it will um, drive the circuit and then its uh, initial state is set to high to keep the MOSFET on, and then it will go low and turn it off. Now, with the transistor approach, if I just put this in the right place, depending on which pin you use to drive this transistor, uh, oh, that's the wrong pin, so we need to be in pin 10 right now for this one. So pin 10 is gonna be initially set to low, so it's not gonna activate the, uh, the transistor. Um, Depending on which pin you use, your circuit will start up faster. Uh, you won't have to hold the button in for so long. Now, the reason for that, I believe, and I'm, this isn't like for certain, but I believe the bootloader enables pin 13 as an output before anything else. So it's looking for uh, a signal on here for serial communications, I believe, or for programming. So if I pop it into pin 13, and I'll show, in fact, I'll show you on pin 10 first. So pin 10 is the same functionality. We're going through the transistor. If I just press the button, we can see the LEDs come on here, but I have to hold it down for a fair amount of time in order for it to actually work. In fact, it didn't then. Let's try again. There we go. So you have to hold it down for a fair amount of time. If I just take that out now, and we'll put it into pin 13, which has the same behavior, same uh, logic. So it's going to go uh, low initially. I don't need to hold it nearly as long um, to, to get my circuit working. And I believe, again, that is, that's to do with the bootloader and the fact that that pin is enabled as an output very early on. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's basically why to answer some of the questions about why I didn't um, connect the MOSFET straight to a pin. I just prefer to keep it separate, that's all. Uh, but you absolutely can. Um, so it's just separate from the battery supply. And you might do that because your battery supply might be higher than five volts. Maybe you're switching 
um, on the power to your voltage regulator or, or whatever, but I think it's just a bit of a safer circuit to use uh, with a using a transistor, but yeah, you absolutely can use the, the MOSFET for just normal 5 volt stuff.